John Healy originally built the motor and he raced it. So uh, his name's on there. So his, his name's on everything yeah, on the car. So, yeah, he worked for Tasca Ford and he was a racing engineer for him. So that's how that. And actually, come about. the next the next couple of years they still they still hung with the Chevrolet. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah in '64 they won all the national championships. Tell you what, good looking vehicle. All Appreciate right. you on being on the show. Remember. Last car of this show, you don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Let me tell you about the best kept secret in Northeast Alabama. Sider Ridge Golf Club in Oxford, Alabama is one of the most beautiful golf courses you will ever play on. They have a pro shop with special prices on some of the most popular name brands of golf and equipment. With the banquet room and staff, they can also handle any time of golf tournament or just a corporate or small group function. Lonnie Reese, the PGA Pro and Manager, also has golf lessons for people of all ages. Call or visit Saddle Ridge Golf Club today. Tell them you heard about them on Big Boys Toys and receive a special discount on that next great round of golf. Charter West Mortgage, Highway 231, Pell City, Alabama, are your mortgage specialists in the surrounding area. Lynn Miller and his staff are as long professionals in VA, FHA, and first-time mortgages. They also do second mortgages on your current home loan. They also assist families who have some credit problems, working with them over a few months period of time, trying to help them rebuild their credit so a home can be purchased. So when you find that home of your dreams, call Lynn Miller and his staff today and they will help you make your dreams come true. Tell him I told you to call 205-338-5555. You know, Piggly Wiggly, that's a name you've heard ever since you was a child. I've heard it since I was a child. It's a grocery store above all grocery stores. It has just about anything you want in the Piggly Wiggly stores. Go by the local Piggly Wiggly store in Odenville, Center, Cedar Bluff, Collinsville, and the brand new store down in Asheville and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories sent you by and you want to see how much money you can save on your grocery bill. They have a meat department and a fresh produce department in each and every store, fresh produce each and every day and they cut their meat right there on their location. Tell them I sent you by. Vehicle, Richard Lump in a 1954 Alice Chambler, right? Right. Tractor. Welcome to Big Boy Store. Thank you. Somebody made a comment over there a while ago said, well, back when that tractor knew if you had a John Deere and Alice Chambler, it's like Alabama Auburn fans. You didn't communicate. <laughs> That's basically you didn't, you what You didn't is. get along. No. Uh, farm malls were thrown in there, too. <laughs> so if you had a farm mall, yeah. let me ask you a question. You, you rebuild Alice Chambler's, obviously. Right. Was they scared they're going to lose their tractor in the field? Yeah, the, the story I heard, uh, Alice Chamber used to be green. Well, this dude that uh, built them was going out west or something on a train, and he saw a bunch of those poppies, you know, out in the, and he liked that, and that's when that's when he went to that orange color, and that was a story I heard behind it. But anyway, that's the day that you didn't lose them much. Now this is this is the Alice Chandler brand of the wheels together in the front. Right. Now try it. The '62, no, the '54 model. I'm sorry. Now, what horsepower does this engine? 45 horsepower. So that's the same as the rest of them? All well, no, they got a WD that's, I uh, think, like 42 horsepower, but that's got a little more horsepower. I mean, too. mostly in, in, in that year, didn't the, the John Deere's and all of them have about the same horsepower, yeah. all of them together? All of them, yeah. If one come out with something, the other one's going to, you know, it's all. And nowadays, you buy a tractor that's got a cab, air conditioned, power steering, four wheel drive. Well, that didn't come with it. I did. <laughs> well, we'd like to have it. Well, that one, that one, if you if you work with that one, you know you're hot. Yeah. Because you're going to work. Because you know that paint, that paint draws the sun wherever you use yes, it. It does that. It brought the sun to you. Now, how long did it take you to restore this one? I, you know, just when you had time, it probably about a year, year and a half. Year, year and a half. And it set out in a field for about 15 years. And I didn't bring the pictures. I got them aware. It was rough, you know. And so that's why we did. But anyway, it's how long it took. So you actually found it, Phil? Was you in the tractor club then and all? Or you no. Said, I'm going to build a tractor. No, a buddy of ours has got a WD that's sitting over beside that one. And he started it anyhow. So that's what got this started. Like, we ought to build us a tractor. You know, and they have me and my brother, and that's how that got started. Well, tractors, the, the tractor shows are really getting big. Yeah. A lot of participation, a lot of uh, contestants and stuff. It's really getting big, bigger than you think. Right. And uh, so that's why we did. And, we didn't know how this, but we really enjoy. We've been to a show about every week. And it's fun just to look at other tractors and listen to how people built them, things they've done to them and stuff, because it takes a lot to build a tractor. It's like a car. It very much. And how long did it take you to get it running, just to crank? Uh, well, believe it or not, though, uh, the engine's been built. We uh, 
started, I had to unstick some valves and started pulling it with another tractor. And we got it cranked. It smoked real bad, but anyway, but uh, we built the engine. We did the, that tractor has been built from the front end all the way back. We got a little more money in it than what we had planned, you know what I mean? But like I say, it set out in the edge of a field. Uh, old farmer had it, he just left it. And so we bought it from his son. You know, back then when they had one, you know, 15, 20 years ago, if it quit, they let you where it sat. <laughs> well, that's what... They didn't, they didn't trade what, them in or send nobody to get it wherever it stopped, where they left it at. Well, that's basically what that mall is. They just pulled it over and got it out of the way. And you so, have any other tracks you restored? Or? No, uh, we, I got one that just, I, I may start. It's a 4,000 Ford tractor. Uh -huh. and, uh, but we were fixing to, I think, put on a challenge of a, a Minneapolis Smolin. And we don't know, we didn't have them out of Hoax Club where we come from. But like I say, where we from, Alice Chamber was real calm. Right, where y'all from? Hoax Club, Alabama. Hoax Club, so that was a pretty good, a pretty pretty popular track to make. Right, today. yeah. And uh, we've had G models, you know, we've had a lot of Alice Chamber. Well, i tell you what, it's a good looking vehicle. You've well, done a great job. It. And I mean, it's it's just perfect, ain't it? There's nothing wrong with it, it's no, perfect. No, it's a new track. Appreciate you being on the Appreciate show. We'll be right back. Me. Let me tell you a place right here on Highway 431 North in Glencoe that has everything you need in one location. s, &S Smoke Shop and Spirits has everything from cigarettes, cigars, and the largest selection of your favorite cold beverages. They have all types of liqueurs and any type of mixes you need for your next party to make it a great success for you and your friends. They also have novelty items such as candles, die-cast cars, and the smallest gift to the largest gift for that special occasion. Stop by today and see Kathy or one of her sales staff. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. The next time you plan a special event of any kind and you need portable toilets, hand washing stations, or the holding tanks, MaxVacs here in Oxford, Alabama on Hamrick Drive is the ones you turn to. They operate 24-7 and have several trucks, I mean several trucks, about 40 of them, and can handle all of your portable sanitation needs from start to finish of your special event. So call Rhonda, Chad, or Randall today at MaxVax and tell them Barry Miller told you to give them a call. Ray City Diner, exit 168 off of I-20 on Highway 77 right there in Lincoln, Alabama. Best steaks around. I tell you what, Wanda McKeg and her staff have great food in this restaurant. They are open 24 hours a day, breakfast served 24 hours a day, each and every week, steak special. You guys working down in that area, she has lunch specials each and every day. Also now through October, bike night every Tuesday night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. every Tuesday night. You guys bring the bikes out, listen to music, enjoy the great food. We'll see you at Race City Down in Lincoln, Alabama. Next vehicle, Jeff Grimes, 1949 John Deere. I told you I was gonna have some tractors. This one's just a little bit older than the other. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. Yeah. What, about 10 years old, ain't it? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your tractor, Jeff. I got it April was a year ago. It took about a, about a year to redo it. Why a tractor? Why not? Why not? <laughs> do, you, do you do cars too? Or? No, so, I just, just like antique tractors. Now, now this is the one with the wide wheels. Yes. Now what is the big difference in the two? Well, it's adjustable front end, but mostly it's with a one row tractor. You're sitting mostly on top of the road. It's offset. And the John Deere's, you know, they've been around a long, long time. And John, really, John Deere's got really popular here in the last three years with their uh, clothes and stuff like You see a lot of teenagers wearing the John Deere stuff and all. But John Deere, the tractors, has actually been around a long, long time. Long time. And what was the first tractor? You know, was it a. I don't really know. The first year that John Deere made a tractor? 1913 or something like that. I, Have I you seen many of the ones, you know, like the first year or two they was built? Have you seen many of them at the, the tractor Waterloo show? Waterloo boys, there's, there's a few of them. There's not as many, but there's still a few of them. Now, what's the oldest one you've seen at a tractor show? Because I know you go to all the shows. Well, I don't really know. Probably a 20-something. I think 20 something, late 20s. Now, at the tractor shows, they do the judging and all just like I do with cars, right? They right. look at everything on this tractor to make sure it's what it's supposed to be. Right. When you rebuild one like this, how hard is it to find like the fuel gauge? I mean the, they, the fuel filter. Reproduction stuff? gauges, they're not real hard to find. And did they count off on reproduction or not? No. No, as long as they're the same. As long as it's got John Deere on. Now you actually paint it and all yourself or? Most of it. The decals, they hard to find? No. So you really the decals nowadays they can make them to look just like it. Right. You can get any print shop to make the John Deere decal. Now they use these tractors a lot, just the small farms and stuff, and the big one, 
Now the big one was up here earlier. They use it more for meal work and stuff, right? Uh, row crop, cotton and corn, wheat and stuff like that. And these were just used for small? Cut patching and garden stuff like that. Anything else you want to do to it? No, it's about done. About done and ready to go, just about go to done. show. Where are you from? Here Center in Alabama. Center Alabama, so you're pretty close. Yeah. What's the farthest you went to a tractor show? You know, people ask me, what's the farthest you went to a car show? This is Biloxi, Mississippi. What's the farthest you went to a tractor show? Probably for the south end of Carrollton, Georgia. Yeah, Carrollton's a pretty good little skip, a yeah, pretty good little distance from here. And tractor shows, they could have, what, 100, 200 tractors at a tractor Some show? Do. Have you actually, like the big one was here earlier, you ever seen them set up a, like a sawmill or something with it? Oh, I have. I saw them on TV. TV? Yeah. But some of the tractor shows, they they do everything. Actual work. How many times when you pull into a tractor show with this tractor, somebody wants to buy it? About every time? A lot of times. But you've got a lot of, you know, a lot of working on it. You don't want to get rid of it. No, it's not for sale. You know, one of these days, you know, people say, well, everything's for sale. No, I've seen stuff that wasn't for sale. Yeah. Depends on how much work you put in. That's I've right. seen stuff that you couldn't buy, no matter how much money you got. Watch this, y'all. What color is it? Green. John yeah. Deere green. Green and yellow. And the wheels, was that you like that with the green centers? Yes, sir. Well, you could see the track. Did they do it back in the 50s at John Deere where you could see them things in the field? You wouldn't lose them. <laughs> I guess. Because <laughs> the farm all, you'll lose that farm all out there. Or the forwards, forwards are kind of like, Tan looking, you lose them, but you can't lose that tractor. No. You can see, like I see a John Deere. Skitter. Skitter right over yonder. I mean, you can see them for a quarter mile. You ain't gonna miss them. Mm -hmm. Nothing else to do to it but drive it and have fun. That's right, enjoy it now. Tell you what, good looking vehicle. Appreciate Thanks, you sir. being on the show. We'll be right back. Everybody, Barry Miller for Big Boys Toys. First of all, I want to thank you for watching Big Boys Toys because it's you people watching the show and the sponsors that makes Big Boys Toys. You see the sponsors on this backboard? These sponsors are what bring Big Boys Toys to you each and every week. I mean, if you need anything, carpet, car, painted, whatever, any sponsor on this backboard that you need, give them a call today. Tell them you watch Big Boys Toys, you appreciate them sponsoring the show, and you want to use their services. Also, we're getting our calendar ready for 2006. If you're watching this show, I don't care if you're in Tuscaloosa, Huntsville, Decatur, Coleman, wherever you're at, you've got a car show coming up in 2006, you'd like for us to come in and film at your car show and try to help bring more cars in there, give me a call today, 256-283-4404. And if I don't have something booked that day, I guarantee you we'll try our best to come to your car show. So give me a call today. Thanks for watching. Looking for great savings on new and pre-owned cars and trucks? Then head on over to Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC. Our courteous and knowledgeable sales team is ready to show you our huge selection of cars and trucks at out-the-door prices. Don't settle for our competition's offer. At Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, we're committed to sales, service, and customer satisfaction. So head on over to Ron Newton's. We'll treat you right. That's Ron Newton Pontiac Cadillac GMC, top of the hill, Quintar. Bates Food Mart right on Quintard Avenue, right beside China Luck before you go into Aniston. BP dealer for this area, stop by and see Victor or Danielle Bates today for all of your convenience store needs. They have cigarette specials each and every week, Coke specials, whether it be the 12 pack or the liter, they're always on special at Bates Food Mart. Hey, also you notice he's got just about anything you need in that store, snacks, cold beer, wines, all kinds of wines, specialty wines. Stop by today, see him, John Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, after an accident, there's a lot of things on your mind. One thing is, hey, where am I going to get my car fixed? How long is it going to take? Most people don't realize you can request who you want to repair your vehicle. George and Bill at DMT Body Shop on Miller Lane in Aniston, right off the new bypass, will give you an estimate and try to get your vehicle fixed as soon as possible and have you back on the road. They have state-of-the-art equipment. They have PBG paint. They got a paint booth. They got framing machine. They do glass work. They do everything right there at DNT Body Shop. So give them a call today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. Have a dream of getting away for the weekend with your family from the hustle and bustle? Turner's Outdoor Center right here in Stemley Bridge Road in Pell City, Alabama has the answer for you. They have a 36-foot SRV starting at just $350 per month. You want something a little smaller? 24-footer starting at $160 per month. This is with no down payment and a super interest rate starting at 7.25%. Great part is, no payment for 90 days. They service all of their units right there on their location. Hey, new location opening soon, Emory Crossroads and I-20. So give Billy Turner or one of his sales staff a call today. Tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to call. 
McCleskey Brothers is your number one stop for everything you need to make that car of your dreams become an envy of everyone who sees it. They cater to auto body shops, but they also help the do-it-yourself people who want to work on their cars themselves. From DuPont Paint, 3M products, McGuire products, and the hottest thing on the market, Hot Hues, they have everything right there. They also have all the supplies such as paint guns, buffers, buffing pads, molding, even a large selection of pinstriping. With two locations to serve you, they cover most of Northeast Alabama. Give them a call today at any one of their locations and tell them Barry Miller told you to call. Next vehicle, Pete Robbins, 34 Ford, and it's called a Cabriolet. Yes, sir. They, people, people spell it, if they spell it wrong, they'll spell Chevrolet and they get you mad. Won't exactly. They? Exactly. Welcome to Big Boys Toys. Tell me about your car. All the ladies over there, when you pulled up, said, oh my God. So tell them about it, because it's, it's gorgeous. A guy out of uh, Sandrock built that car, local. Uh, him and his boy, they started building it back in 95. They got it done in 2000, and it's been setting since the end of 2000, and I bought it probably about four months ago. Wonder why he built it, then parked it. Don't know. Just didn't have time, I don't reckon. I couldn't understand it. If that. I took time building something that looked like that, I'd find time to drive it. But no, he, uh, him and his boy, they spent a lot of time on that old car. I tried to buy it for about a year. Messed around there and I seen it. I moved up here from out of Dothan. And uh, I seen it in his garage. I stopped by and he wouldn't he wouldn't even price it. I stopped by it one more time and he said, yeah, I'm gonna sell it. And he priced it and I said, I'll take it. Didn't have to price it but one time. That's it. I Do tell it again. people all the time, don't put a price on nothing because somebody's gonna have the money. What size motor and all is in it? It's a small block, uh, 400. It's got air. Pretty, it's done right. Uh, the guy that built that car, uh, he ordered the motor out of uh, Ohio got a list it's like yay long on the car. It's pretty smart putting air conditioning in a convertible because it does work. Yeah. You see that Corvette right there? If I ride in it and it's 100 degrees, Blow the I let the top down and she'll turn that air conditioning on high. That's right. And it's still cold in there. Feels good. Because it blows right in your face. you got to have air conditioning. What color you call that? That's a 99 Maxima pearl white. Because a lot of people look at it and say, well, it looks pewter looking right here at that fender. And then yeah. you move over there. And the sun hits it. The sun hits it. And that's yeah. it. No, it ain't pewter. And then you kind of figure, so everybody said, what color is that car? It's uh, come off of a 99, I think you said 99 Maxima, pearl white. So you actually, most of the stuff you've done to it is cosmetic like? Yes, sir. Just basically cleaned it up. I hadn't done nothing with it. Uh, now I've got a 33 that I've done a lot to, Plymouth. Uh, it's a pretty nice car. Which one do you drive the most? This one. Who drives the Plymouth? You let your brother and her ride around in it? Uh, they're in it today. What color is it? It's turquoise and green. I still don't go with her fingernails. <laughs> yeah. This don't even go with her fingernails. That orange one right over there, convertible, might. That might blend in there. It might blend a little bit. Everybody, she could go down through there and everybody think her steering wheel is two-tone. I give him a keychain. I said, if anybody comes up, I give him one of these. I said, if you get nervous, nervous. just do like that. And he just right, holds it. Just, just wearing it out. It don't bother him a bit. <laughs> Anything else you want to do with the car? I'm going to do a few more things. I'm going to put a, probably a different color top on it, probably in a couple months. and. Uh, I'm going to change the set of wheels, put some aftermarket wheels on it. Change Is it hard wheels. to find parts for it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like uh, the top. We, we got, yeah, the top, I got to worry it out. It's coming out of Ohio. But I got hit uh, in another one of my cars in a 34, and I needed to tail out some other stuff. They're hard to come by. Yeah. You know, the original stuff. He went back like the grill right here. He put that grill, it come out of a original 34. Right, it's I was going to say, it looks like yeah, it's what it come out of. Yeah, that's the original 34, 34 grill. He tried to get it back as original as possible. And, uh, and you can take them, get them re-chromed, it's a whole lot cheaper than buying one. Yes, sir. If you can find somebody to do it. Correct. I tell you what, you got a lot to be proud of. Good looking vehicle. Appreciate Thanks, you being on the show. She's standing behind him now. She's yeah, getting you nervous. Got her hiding now. Got her hiding now. That's yeah. okay. The camera doesn't got your fingers anyway. Yeah. We'll be right back with Big Boys Toys. Oxford Lumber and Ace Hardware in Oxford and Talladega, Alabama is your number one location for all of your home building needs or just that special project around the house. 
They have items from the smallest nail to the biggest trust on top of your roof and everything in between. They can take blueprints of your new home and supply everything needed to build that home from start to finish. And the special thing about it, Oxford Lumber and Ace Hardware, they deliver everything they sell. They also have all types of power tools and general tools for any type of job. So stop by one of the locations today, either Oxford or Talladega. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. If you want to go out for the eating or fine dining, you can find it right here in downtown Anniston at Classic Old Noble. The atmosphere is set for a quiet dinner for two or a party for 20. They have a lounging area upstairs so you can have a drink with a friend or a business associate. They also have a seating available upstairs in a nice quiet atmosphere. Classic Old Noble also caters for special events and parties for any amount of people from 2 to 20 to 200. Stop by Classic Old Noble today and tell them Barry Miller sent you by. Hey everybody, it's Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys. On behalf of Alice Martin, her husband Greg Norton, and the campaign staff of Alice Martin for probate judge of Democratic primary, she would like to thank everyone for voting for her on June the 6th. It was a great turnout in voting, and Alice received over 60% of the votes in the Democratic primary. Remember, November's coming up, and she is running for probate judge on the Democratic primary. So come back out in November and vote for Alice Martin, probate judge, Calhoun County. Next vehicle, Cole Murray, a 1963 Ford Fairlane. Cole, welcome to Big Boys Thank Toys. You. This is a car I told you was coming up to end of the show you didn't want to miss. Tell me about this one, Carl. Uh, it's a 427, four-speed car. That was my cousin, the 62. That's what started getting to the Thunderbolt in 64. They only had three of the 63s, a red one, a white one, and a blue one. That's as close to the original as you can get. Ford crushed the original ones. They crushed it. Yeah. I wonder why they done that. They just didn't want <laughs> Didn't want nobody to get to them, I guess. Didn't want nobody. Competition and back in. They with probably the freaked out and knew how much it would cost <laughs> now to get one of them. Yeah, but everybody's redoing the 64s, and nobody was trying to redo the 62 and 63. And that's why we come up with a 62 and 63. So you come up big. Yeah. 63, they come out with a 427. They jumped up a little bit in cubic inches. They yeah. went from the 406, right, to the right, 429. 427. 427, my yeah. man. 429 so was later. They, they, they jumped up a little bit higher because Chevrolet was trying to jump up too. Right. So four was trying. And people don't realize nowadays it's not that much competition. Well, you got the Mustangs out there with the 5.0s, the new GTs and all, but they can't touch the new Z06 Corvettes. Ain't no way. Right. You know, Z06 Corvettes got 520, 505 horsepower at the rear wheels from the factory. Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot of horsepower. Yeah, it is. From the rear, and you can't touch it. And so it actually was three of them built. Yeah. Have you 63. seen anybody else rebuild any of them? There was one guy in Birmingham, and I don't know whether he's got the blue one around or not, but other than that, I hadn't seen anyone do it. And Mike Osborne, your friend, he, yeah. that, he did the motor in that one for us. Mike, I say it all the time, if it's a Ford, he knows what to do. I believe he could take a motor yeah. apart and put it back together with his eyes shut. Oh, of course. I mean, I mean, Any part about it. I mean, he's that good. He knows a Ford backwards and forward. Yeah. He can take a motor apart and you hold up a boat and he'll tell you what it goes for. <laughs> I mean, without even, you know, keeping them separated, he knows where they go. He, uh, that's it. Anything else you got to do with this one? Is it no, that's it. it. It's done. How many, how many shows you go to a year? Well, we've only been to about four already with them since we got them around. We just have got them around last year. Got them around and people freak out when you come rolling out with it, don't they? Oh, they do. They can't believe it. They say, God, what is it? Most of them Especially the people that, you know, knows about the 63, 64 back Most in Most people you that know. don't know about them just think it's, it's just some little drag car you fixed yeah. up. They don't actually know what it is right. until, you, until you have to go explain it to them. That's right. Well, I tell you what, that thing looks great. Appreciate you being on All the right. show. Appreciate Ladies and gentlemen, why he's sitting there, he ain't going nowhere. Remember the sponsors on this backboard. You know, if it wasn't for the sponsors on this backboard, these sponsors, 85% of them has been with us over three years. Same sponsors over three years. So, you know, they're great sponsors. The show, we're in our four and a half, you know, we're going to be going about four and a half years now. And if it wasn't for you viewers, we wouldn't have that top rank rating that we've got on several of the TV stations. But most of all, if it wasn't for car owners like this, we wouldn't find the cars to film each and every week. When y'all watch this show, no, when y'all watch this show, I'll be back. But I'm leaving Friday going to Myrtle Beach. So when y'all watch this show, I'll be back. I had a great time. I'm going to tell you, before I even go, I had a great time. Because I always, once a year I get to go in July, I stay gone now. I go up to North Carolina, visit my, folk, my family, stay a couple days. And then I'll take off to Myrtle Beach, stay seven days. So usually I'm gone nine or ten days at one time. So Cedar Bluff, when I film here, I know it ain't but five days till I hit the road and I'm ready to go. I... <laughs> You know, we film every two weeks somewhere and sometimes every week somewhere and it gives my voice a break for nine days. I don't have to say anything or, or do anything, just 
show cars like this right here. Well, appreciate you, know you being. I know Jackie. Yeah, appreciate you being on the show. Tell everybody <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>